My name is Kenny McLean. I'm the production manager of the Isle of Alice Distillery. Scotland has got a rich heritage of distilling, so it's well suited to producing uh, any spirit. Part of making gin is a big chemistry experiment, but um, a lot of it is nosing as well and knowing where to make cuts and where to infuse botanics. So all these skills are, are here already. The process of making gin begins with selecting botanics to give the gin flavour. Once we have our botanics, we infuse them into our spirit. That then goes into the still and we distill it off. Once we get the, the spirit out, we have to reduce it to bottling strength. Everything happens on site, uh, including the bottling. We hand bottle and hand label pretty much everything. It's a very much a, a personal thing all the way through, from the production right through to getting out in the post to the end customer. All over Scotland there's been um, little corners where the local product of high quality has been used. Some people farm botanics themselves, some people use things that are local to them. The unique thing about Harris Gin is, I think, the sugar kelp. That's a unique ingredient that nobody else uses. It lends a natural sweetness to the gin which means it can be sipped neat. We get the sugar kelp uh, locally here in the Hebrides. It's dived by uh, an individual up in Lewis. So sugar kelp is the deepest down of the common seaweeds in the outer Hebrides. It's not like other seaweeds where they show twice a day when the tide is out. So you would have to snorkel for it or dive for it. So this is a wee bit more of a hidden treasure. I think the environment in the Outer Hebrides, with clean, pure water, strong tides, the Gulf Stream, which was bringing all the nutrients in, um, seaweed thrives here. Having ingredients from the Outer Hebrides is very important to us, it's vital because we don't just want to sell a product that can be made anywhere. Using sugar kelp, which is local to us, gives us a product that we can say is truly from Harris. The best way to serve Harris gin uh, it depends on who's drinking it, really. It, it goes very, very well with grapefruit if you're having a gin and tonic. When visitors come here, they can experience how the gin is being made. Uh, they can see it close up. We take people through all the ingredients and all the components that affect the flavours. That's what it's all about, the flavours. So there's an awful lot of Harris in the bottle. 